Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be talking about something that not a lot of channels talk about, and that is custom 3D prints. And what I mean by that is, let me take my headset off. What I mean by that is there are a lot of websites you can go to to get yourself an STL. You can get it from Colts, Thingiverse, you name it, uh, Yegi. There are tons of websites that you can go to get uh, 3D prints from. However, finger in the air, however, this is a what's known as a mesh mix and what that means is, is i've taken parts from various different it's kit bashing basically in 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 essence it's kit bashing i've taken parts from an imperial guard sentinel i've taken parts from a world war ii tank i've taken parts from another kit i've taken parts from a completely different you're literally kit bashing but for 3d prints and this is uh, 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 something I've, I'm in the process of actually getting ready to print um, because I'm getting ready to start playing a game system called Conflict 47 in which it's basically World War II but it's extended into the future into the 50s so basically nukes never dropped um, you know so the wars continued on and it's a lot more fun uh, and various other things and they use mechs in Conflict 47 so it's World War II but with mechs and um, this is a scout mech I've designed um, of course, there's an MG42, there's a, a robot arm, there's a great big huge auto cannon right there, there's some stowage, extra fuel cans, there's a fixed extra fuel tank underneath there, there's some tarps, you know, there's even a tank driver. Now, when you do mesh mixes or kit bashes like this, you've got to understand that if you've used something that you've paid for, i.e., in my case, I've paid for the tank driver as well as i want to say the fuel canisters and a few other things um if you've paid for something read the uh, uh distributions and the licensing and everything else that you get when you buy your stl okay because sometimes i would say that 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 selling or giving away of of of, of mesh mixes is illegal you can't do that um so this I, I can't give this away guys i can't even sell this because again i paid uh trench works for this beautiful german tank commander figurine um i love their stuff trench works chef's kiss to you um and a lot of people keep asking me um how did i go about doing this because i posted pictures of this on my facebook group uh on on uh, twitter and, and instagram and people asked me they they, they people messaged me and they were like you know how how do you do this so hence this is what this video is for in this video series now i'm going to limit these videos to be a max of 10 to 15 minutes so these might be multi-part videos and if they are I do apologize the reason why is because well frankly my long format videos just don't seem to do well my s shorter format videos do so i'm going to be setting this up to be about a 15 to 20 minute video mark um or shorter so we're just going to get started so first things first you've got to ask yourself three important questions one what is it for okay is it for uh, an existing army is it for a newer army um is it just going to be a, 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 a model for you to paint um in your spare time does it have a story is it part it, it, there's tons of different things case in point if you're a 40k player you're going to try and stick to uh, vehicles that are in the 40k universe if you are a conflict 47 player like myself or or, or a bolt action player like myself you're going to stick with what uh, works for you for me i initially designed I, I didn't initially design this to be a conflict 47 model it just ended up becoming that i initially designed this model to be a i'm a huge fan of of uh, games like armored core um on the playstation one and then the playstation 2 and the playstation 3 and and, and and even eventually on the pc i'm a huge fan of the armored core series of games and i and titanfall as well and i have a titanfall mech um uh, uh stl and uh, but it, it was given to me by a friend who paid for it so i don't feel right using it i actually want to buy it and i do have the uh, uh original makers information and i do plan on buying a a license so that i can actually print the model i have ethics um compared to some other printers out there so 
what we're going to do is we're going to start off on something very, very basic and very, very simple. We're not going to start on something like a great big huge mech like this. We're going to start on something simple like a base. And you're thinking, what? A base? Yes, a base. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go bloop and delete that. And we're going to go new project. So now we've got our new project. So then we're going to open up our files and we're going to go to uh, bases all sizes and i'm going to grab a really big base that i've got okay so we're going to grab like this this great big 130 base this is like a huge base it doesn't even fit on my print bed and this is the biggest print bed i've got so but again this is just for demo purposes and then now you're going to think to yourself okay this is a plain base how can we make this base stand out for our titan or whatever we're going to have on it? so you're now going to want to go and search online for, for various things for me i've already got some of the things that i want so uh let's go some let's grab some sandbags so we'll grab those we'll put those in and we'll grab some loose sandbags in fact we'll, we'll even grab some of this building material and you know what, let's grab it all we'll grab it all and then discard what we don't need again because this is literally what we're doing we're just kit bashing now, again, I'm using Chidi Box. Um, I, I used to use Lychee, and I, I, I used to love Lychee, but Lychee, after a while, um, just started giving me non-stop issues. Um, prints were failing, um, or, or just not working at all, and eventually I was like, what is going on? And I've been using... Uh, um, uh, Chidi box for so long now i'm used to the interface i'm so used to everything how to use Chidi. so i'm using Chidi box this is Chidi box free you can get it for free there'll be a link in the, de in the description and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab some other things now let's look at terrain okay so we've got some dead 40k miniatures here so we're going to grab all of these and so some are going to look appropriate, some are not going to look appropriate. But that's fine. Again, this is why we're importing. All right. So we've got a couple of dead guys like sitting down. We've got one on a spike. We've got a couple chained up against the wall. I mean, that, they'll be good if we're doing uh, like a dungeon scene or, or something like that. Or, or even attach them onto the sides of a titan. Or stuff but we're just because we're, we're just customizing a, a simple base right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab something like these sandbags okay and this dead space marine okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to move this marine this dead face down marine here and we'll put him here and then we'll give him a random orientation so no, don't, we'll give them a random orientation, so like right here, okay? So like that, and then we'll grab this dead sitting marine. We'll lift the sandbags up, and we'll lift him up. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to start deleting some of these other stuff off the scene, and we can always re-grab them later because. That's what we've got. So I'm going to take away these standing up dead ones. Now again, this is just a, a kit bashed base, okay, for a walker or a dreadnought or whatever, uh, a chaos lord or even just doing a diorama. You can you can do a scenic base for a, for a diorama, okay. Like I could do this as like uh, the last of the the Macrag or whatever, and have these guys painted up as ultramarines or things of that nature and so what we're going to do is we're now going to rotate this guy so that he's now again you've got to read the scene okay so he, he died right there he died right there and we're going to grab half buried larry and we're going to move now one of, one of the features I would like to see added into to uh, into Chidi Box, whether it be premium or, or, or free, is the ability to lock an STL so it can't be moved. 
case in point like if i could just like um right click on the base and just right click or have an option up here and 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 just click lock so it can no longer be in integrated or moved around like you can do with um photoshop how you can lock layers i would really like so that's what i treat these as i treat every individual stl as a layer and because i treat it as a layer that means i can in in many retrospects uh, uh treat this as basically like drawing a picture but it's in 3d okay so we've got these three dead space marines okay and each one is telling a story okay and so now we're gonna gently pry this guy up out the ground there we go and we can leave him back there so pretty much these poor these poor guys you know died trying to defend an object you could use this as an obje as an objective marker even you know you don't necessarily have to use this as a base you could you can set this up as an objective marker and um you know uh, for your tabletop game and and make things a lot more um interesting you know or you can set it for a, a, a again you can set it for a diorama you can there are tons of things that you can do um and you can also like rescale them and 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 you know if if you're doing this for an epic or whatever and so there we go we've literally just kit bashed a base you know it's that easy guys you can do it um now you just got to know what you're doing and and again like i said am i fond of the these base of these sandbags or do i want a more smoother sandbag i don't know yet you know i don't know like i said this is only step one i mean and then picture whatever model you're going to have standing over it so case in point let's go to my models let's see what i've got real quick i think i've got a couple of you know what here let's grab that uh here you go we'll grab this whole dreadnought here we go and again this is just just an example okay so you can understand what i've done now see so these guys failed or, or this dreadnought failed to defend his squad mates you know and it sets a story guys so this is going to be part one in part two we're going to look at probably kit bashing an actual custom space marine or a custom uh whatever you know so like i said leave a comment in the video down below in in, this, in in just leave a comment down below if you're new here please hit that subscribe button i greatly appreciate it we're only eight people away from 500 subscribers guys you have no idea how how amazingly happy i am about that fact that we're literally only like eight people away from 500 subscribers it means so much to me and like i said guys if you want more tutorials like this on how to to, to mesh mix or kit bash or whatnot please just leave a comment in the video on the video and i will respond i do take the time to read my comments okay i really do um so until then guys i'm gonna say that I'll, I'll end this video with a stay safe have fun keep your shows flying keep your enemies dying cover commander is out and slay the gray and paint your minis